Hey everybody, it's Chad for Outside Supply. One more time, wanted to do a video. This is a question we get quite a bit. People calling us and they want to know specifically what is an RV solar kit? Is it just the panel or what does it come with? So I wanted to do a short video to explain why a company like GoPower has taken so much time to create RV solar kits and engineered products that are designed to go on a RV, you know, not only are they design, but they warranty them to go on an RV. And so I wanted to tell you what they're including in most of their kits. Now, GoPower takes a lot of time to make sure these kits go out in the RVs. And in fact, they're actually leading the charge and in installing a lot of the cable entry plates that they're selling into the RVs ahead of time. So when you're going to install uh, later on a GoPower kit on your RV that's pre-wired, you'll just connect in with the MC4 right to your GoPower kit. So here's what it's going to come with. It's primarily going to come with the solar panel. I mean, that is the key to what an RV solar kit is. The panel is producing the power. Everything else is just either a safety piece or a piece to complete the circuit uh, and also to uh, mount the panel. So you're going to get the solar panel and you're going to get Z brackets and they're kind of named that because of their shape. And you're going to get enough of these to be able to tie uh, a normal RV uh, roof together to the panel. And that's going to come with both screw, screws, bolts, and nuts. Now the screws are used for the roof side. You want to be able to make sure you catch at least one beam. Seal it really good. Water is the enemy of an RV. So you want to make sure it is absolutely 100% watertight. And the bolts and the nuts uh, will connect to the Z-bracket. Now the Z-bracket has two different hole sets. One is a small hole and the other is more of an elongated hole. The elongated hole is designed to connect the bolt and the nut to the panel. And the screw hole is smaller and that is designed to connect the screw to the RV roof through the bracket. So we're also going to get a fuse because fusing our wire is important. Remember, we're not protecting the panel with the fuse, we're protecting the wire. And that's important because if you ever have a short, we want to go ahead and blow this fuse rather than start a fire. You're going to get the wire. Now, the wire is kind of special because, well, it's a special gauge for RV solar, but it carries MC4 connectors. The back of the panel is going to have two cables that come out that will terminate an MC4. And what an MC4 connector is, is it's a watertight way to connect RV solar cables really quickly. This, uh, these two connectors would plug in together. It makes a very good watertight connection that is secure and uh, it keeps things just in place. So you're not having to go up there and fiddle with loose connections. The other thing that's really uh, important that it comes with is the manual. And the manual is going to give you a lot of the experience that GoPower has at installing these on RVs. They've done a really good job at creating a very thorough manual. That is why over all these years we still rep a company like GoPower. They take care of their customers and they really create the best products on the market. So I like to be able to explain to people as much as you see other products on the market, GoPower has been the industry leader for quite a while. And I don't work for GoPower. I just rep them. Outside Supply thinks they are the best product on the market, so that's who we choose to sell. Now, I want to also talk about the charge controller. Now, the charge controller is what protects your battery. It's what takes the power from the panel and asks the battery what it's doing to understand how much of that power it should send to it. So the charge controller also comes with it. Again, you'll have the panel, the brackets, the connection, uh, pieces for the bolts and screws. You'll also have the fuse, the wire, the manual. Everything from the wire should be on MC4 connectors and you'll have the charge controller which will be a panel mount controller. Now that's specifically with the 30 amp controller. Now there are 10 amp controller options but this is the primary RV solar kit. You'll see it in two models right now from GoPower available on outside supply. They are a 160 watt base RV solar kit and a 100 watt base RV solar kit. Now the base kit is a little bit different than the expansion kit. I'll do another video to explain exactly what's included in an expansion kit. The base kit is the first kit you use on your RV. So no matter how many panels you put, 
you'll need to start with the base kit because it includes the charge controller and the wire. So for outside supply, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, leave a comment below. And for just go ahead and check out some of our other videos if you're really interested in RV solar. If you have any questions, you can also call our office at 866-574-4983. Thanks.